Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks. Today's project is, well, not really a project per se, but we're going on a little road trip today. We're gonna to go to Brooklyn, New York, to the boot camp show. Now, this sounds really fun. I don't know if they've ever done this before, but this is the first time I'm going. So I figured I'd drag you guys along to show you guys what this is about. You know, um, introduce you guys to some of the manufacturer who's, manufacturers who are gonna be there. And along the way, we're going to take these boots, these Vibrate boots that we did a couple weeks ago to my friend Mario and, and let him have it. And um, this is a good way to present it to him at the show. It'll be kind of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. So tag along and um, I'll see if I can uh, record some interesting facts for you guys. All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. So we finally made it. Look who that is. Oscar, hit the fucking button. Yeah, hit the fucking button. And we got Pablo in the back. Pablo? What up? What was your shop's name? Dimar Shoe Repair. And from Toronto? From Toronto? Guelph. 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 Ontario? Ontario, yeah. Ontario. Yeah. Ontario. Yeah. I say Toronto. So we finally made it. In 400 feet, turn right onto Hamilton Place and then turn right. What bridge is this? This is a... Terrazano Bridge? No. No? This is a... Wow. This is, this is, this is the Brook, uh, Brooklyn Queen Expressway. Nice. And back there was thing. a Prospect Expressway that caused to go the other way. Wow. That way. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> I like the fire escapes. Isn't that cool? You seen those before? The same shinky leather that we did the virus with.
Oscar. What's up, Oscar? You see something you like? Used boots. You like that? Oh. They're not used. Yes, they are. Are you sure? The ones here are. Oh, cool. They're these, look. No? It looks like it. Soles are worn down. Maybe it's a new thing. But <laughs> that, uh, the stress look. Yeah, exactly. Somebody broke in for you. What more do you want? Look, feel them. They're very soft. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Very nice. Wow. No breaking period whatsoever. Oh, well, they walk to the corner. Come on, you can see it. You're saying that's the first pizzeria that opened in the United States. Yeah. 1904. I, I know the whole history of pizza. Now, I Wrong in 1905. They're pretty close. Yeah. Take a mile. Make a slight right turn onto Williamsburg Bridge. this place out. That food is good. Is yeah. it good? Is it? Good. That's it. We're doing it. All right, dude. It's on the right place. They don't, they don't have a big menu, but, but that's, that's all good. Risky foe? Yeah? All right. Thank Thanks, you, Rod. All right, let's check this uh -oh. place out. Kitchen concept. We'll watch our food being cooked. All right. Bulletin board. All right, so we're going to start with a brisket bow. 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 Bow show. All right. Looks very nice. Very it's delicious. Good. All right, let's chat out. Golf for you. Golf for you. Nice. Thank you so More food. If you ever in Brooklyn, come and check it out. They got four locations.
four food coming in. This is chicken, brisket, and uh, Vietnamese coffee in-house. They make nice it themselves. Tea. Iced tea. Ice. The tofu. So this called... Okay, this one right here is called vermicelli, vermicelli bowl. bowl. Vietnamese noodle salad. It's all vegan food for you vegans out there. If you're ever in town of Brooklyn, come on by. Very tasty food, very tasty. Can I record around real quick? Can okay. I record around? Oh, sure. <sighs> these artworks are all yours on the wall? What was that? Are these all your artworks? Yes. Beautiful. Mostly plein air landscape painting and then also portraiture. That's a nice one. I like that one. Thank you. Beautiful colors. Do you have a website, Megan? I do, yes. My QR code is on the door. Okay. And it's just my name. All right. Um, oh, Zach. Yeah. Can you take
Yeah, yeah. Good to meet you. I'm Zach. I just wanted to like see this start. Yeah, thank you so much, like, Pat. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm dumb luck. Oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah. I recognize you. Hey, what? How are you doing? I was I'm thinking, Steve. <laughs> wow. Hi, I'm Zach. How you doing? Can I just take a picture with you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're in Miami, so we have to fly no matter what. So. <laughs> How are you doing? I think I bought some, uh, oh sorry. Competition going on here. We got Oscar hit the fucking button, Brooklyn. That's Oscar hit the button. Yeah, make sure you hit the fucking button. And this gentleman, say your name? Javier. Javier. Well, we can actually make you got way ahead, man. Only 10 minutes. <laughs> so far, Oscar's winning. Come on, Javier, catch up. I'm 10 minutes behind. Hey, I'll stop for 10 minutes. 
That's because Javier's getting interrupted over there. That's why. Oscar Brooklyn. Bam. Man, look at that shine. Look at that shine. I'm uh, having a competition with one of the shoemakers here and who could do a better shine. So far he sucks. This, this is his. This is his so far look. This is mine so far. Night and day. Night and day. Night and day. I would have I would have actually so I can do it. All right, we are here at Jay Fitzpatrick. And Mr. Justin is waiting for us here. Beautiful shoes, your sneakers. And some shoes here. Nice. And there's the man himself. What's up, buddy? Beautiful selection. So if you guys are in New York, what part of New York is this, Justin? Soho. Soho. Thompson Street. Village. Thompson Street? Thompson Street. Thompson Street. So if you guys ever around the neighborhood, come and check it out. Beautiful selections. Nice. Very nice. All right, check these shoes out here. Look at the little one right there. I, I have those shoes. That's cool. I have those shoes. Which one? Wait, what is it? In, in gray and black or red, red and black? All right, we are here at the Soho Cigar Bar. We're gonna enjoy some smokes. We're gonna enjoy some smokes with Justin and and Asuka. Let's go, boys. In here. On. We're walking. Second day of boot camp. Boot camp. A little overcast, but it's not too bad. At least it's not raining. What you got on there, Oscar? Show quarter van. Nice, Mirman. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. What do we say? Let's continue. Let's continue. So who, who won the so who won the contest? Oscar did. Oscar, you won the contest. 
Where are the shoes? I took like half an hour to the morning. Yeah? This was yours? Yeah. yeah. I could tell. Nice. Well, he did an okay job, not too bad. Uh, oh, it took, him, it took him two days to catch up, but that's okay, you know? That's not bad. You got the experience. <laughs> Alright, we're here with Chen. Hi! Iron what, Boots! What Iron Boots? And they are beautiful, beautiful Thank you. selection here. Is there a, Chen, is there a, web, a website? Is there a website you can yes. tell? Yes, search Iron Boots on Google, the first one will be us. Alright, cool, sounds good. Alright, buddy, thank you. Alright, thank you. All right. let's continue. Alright, so who do we have here today? Tobias from Wyatt and Dad. All right. Dom from Dom's Cobbler Shop. Tell me why. why? Santa Claus. Santa Claus, yeah. We got, we, got some, we got some good cobblers here today. Glad you guys can join us. And we'll see you guys later. All right. Cool. I'm gonna run, I'll run you through the first thing yeah. and then we'll do the second one. Yeah. Well, we got this. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to watch. Okay, so we're going to... That little tack is a little bit too close to where I'm going to be doing my next stitch. So that was my the next question I wanted to ask you. How could you know the one in the way? Yeah, you can yeah. just have to eyeball it from down okay. here. Um, so the next stitch, I'd definitely take that one out because you want just a little bit more wiggle room. It allows the leather to like open up as well. So following that that line is the angle in which that um, that hole has been put through okay. that that rib. So you start up nice and high like this. But then as I'm going through, I'm just rocking it ever so slightly down till we have about this angle here. And it's basically a twist in motion. It, there's a little blade on the end of this all, and it's just ever so slightly cutting through. So it's popped up there. Now, the edge of where that sky starts, we just line it up with the blade. That's where you want the whole thing on. And then pinch that down with your thumb, same motion, and it should come out right in the groove there. Okay. And then you can kind of see that it's married up perfectly with the line that was on uh, on the insole. Mm -hmm. Back it up like that. Okay. And then put that away. And then we have two thread ends, two bristles. And what we need to do is make sure it has a little curve on it, similar to the curve of the awl. So we want it to look like this. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna go in. That one's already got a nice curve on it. We're going in here. We're gonna get the threads where they've been wound on just past each other, and then good grip, quick and fast, and then release the tension about here. So you just go like that. Not too much, not too much force here because these are very easily snappable. And then we just get all the excess out, all the excess out, and then you wrap here to tighten this one. Use the all on this one, double wrap here. And if you need, so I'm a little bit far away from the welt there, so I can just roll it round a little bit, and that gets me 45 degree angle, index finger, and I've got a lever motion here, and then I can open my arm up to tighten that one. So it's just, and then that's nice and tight. That's how you do one stitch. Let's get cracking. Right. Let's get cracking. Let's get some You ready? Good. <laughs> They don't have to come out. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell that one out for you. So, we have index finger here. Get that nice and there. Okay. Come on, you can do it, Austin. Pinky with the rivets facing up. Yeah, we'll do it. He's got this. This pinky finger. And then, left hand. You need this beautiful blue shell quarter band glove there. Okay, so I'll get that sack out of the way for you. Okay, here's your all blades. So, I got it down. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm not even gonna ask a question. High angle. Get, bring the welt away just so we can we'll be able to sort of see it being. So service is slowly there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Hold it there for a sec. Get that edge of that sky right where it starts and put, push the welt down and then just keep the same motion. Spot on. Keep going with one about three quarters of an inch of the blade poking out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That'll do it. Back it up now, same motion. There we go. 
the same cut. We all put that in the little corner. Find the ends of your thread. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. There's no pressure. The man's got it. This guy's got it. The man. What the hell? Okay, so look for that curve, and then it goes. You've got to get it in the same angle in which the dam straight through. Look down the hole. There's the second one. Not yet. Not. Need to go back a little bit. To about there. And then this one. This one goes through this way. I put in the hole. That will go here, Andy. Either. It's a rated, rated G video. Be careful. You could do with a bit more light. You can't find the hole. Is the problem. <laughs> this one's always a little bit more tricky. <laughs> Come on, Oscar, you can do it. Ball's right there, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. Hey, you found the hole. <laughs> so quick, firm, and then release the tension. You know, sort of put together. Now that's the back end of that one. So you want to Go, there we go. Now get rid of all that extra excess. Uh, that's the one, yeah, you got that one. Yes, you get going, it'll give way. Fast. Hard. Yeah. There you go, there you go. There you go. Now we're going to really cinch it up. There's the one for the pinky. So, yeah, double wrap. Double wrap around this. And then you want you want a 45 degree angle with your pink, uh, with your index finger on the well. So wrap it. Uh, go go down to the more shoes. So. Yeah, they do a lot of things. So wrap it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another one. There we go. So index finger against the well like this. So have this the thread. Have this sticking out above your hand, and then wrap that underneath. Get this underneath there. Okay, okay, okay. Might need to go a little bit closer because you want it. You want it resting here with the thread tight. So maybe wrap this one more time. Yeah, there we go, there we go. You get your index finger underneath, underneath, like this. Oh, there we go, that's strong. There we go. And then pull. Let's have a look. Looking good. Looking strong. Maybe a little bit more on the outside one. There we go. Good job, Oscar. This is Carmina, how are you Hi, Carmina? Hi, how are you? <laughs> so they have something new here, which is a, a foot measuring system where you put your foot down and, and it measures your foot. Yeah. Very interesting. How does that measure the plant area? Top of your foot? It measures the whole thing? I'm, I'm about to show you. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, it's new. So. And this is all on, this is going to be all online for consumers? 
uh, or once they've scanned their food in store, right. then they will be able to, to order do what it they online. Want, right. But it will take, you right. know, we still have to. Still to, in the beginning process. Yeah, as of as of now, it will be just in store, but the aim is to do it online. So here, for instance. So once you know your foot size, your foot measurements, you can order whatever's on the website? Yes, and we will look at the last and to the your pattern. Foot. There to you your go, nice. Yeah. Nice. So let me see if I can, if I understand it, because literally they just installed it for us. No socks, female, back. I want to see. Come in to see it though. Ah, here he is. I put the markers. So Steve is getting his feet measured on a new system for Carmina, but they will build you bespoke shoes. Yeah. So just try it. Yeah. Just to try it. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Is it? Is that yours? Uh, no. No? No. That's mine. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, Take care of some. Here's my coffee. Carmina, uh, where is that? Oh, this one. Yes. Can, can I use this one? Of course. Yeah. This one. Yes. Come over here so we look at you. This one. Nice. This is your foot. <laughs> nice. And All from right. there we create the last and Okay. And so then. one more time. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Left. Left. Yes. Yep. So once the last is created, is it specific just for me, or is yeah. it just have future uh, future orders, you know, or depends because like if you want to do an Oxford, right. we'll let that for an Oxford. But if you want to do a loafer, right. we'll have to do that. Done. But so we will always have to do that. Easier, yeah. No yeah. They have to do that. Okay. Uh, even way. Yeah, let's go. Right. Okay. Yeah. The scan is done. It is now processing. Oh, just a way. Just a way. Thank you very much. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's now processing. Yeah, scan is uh, 2.5 seconds. Okay. Yeah, just a processor. And I will see your show. Show your foot. Yeah. Okay, show the foot. <laughs> I was to pick up a shoe right now. Mm -hmm. Like that brown one that I picked up that I showed you. Yeah. You'll be able to make it in that style. Yes. Without changing, just that style. Yes. Like this? We yeah. still do, you say we take your measurements, we adapt the last, you could choose the toe, the type mm -hmm. of toe that you like, we would adapt yeah. that last to your measurement, that, that pattern to your measurement. What was that last that I picked up? What was that last? Uh, the forest. Forest, yeah. Okay. Forest. It'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be the forest last. Yeah, but it will be your forest. Right, yeah. right, right. And then what you will do is take the leathers and everything that you want. Mm -hmm. So from there, this goes straight to the factory. Okay. And our, you know, just 
So that'd be about maybe a five month, six month wait. Yeah. No, I think we're talking about three months. No, no. Really? Yeah. When is this launching, Carmen? Yeah. When is this launching? When is this? Uh, the 12th. On the 12th? 12th of yeah. this month. Yeah. October. Yeah, this week coming up. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, you said it's the, the creases yes. that are happening? Yeah. This one it is. So we are here at Alden, Madison. We've got Curtis. Curtis, how you doing? Man? What's up, everyone? And uh, he's in charge of this right here. Yes, sir. And uh, he sends us customers to Virginia to, to repair stuff. And we got Mr. Oscar over there. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Have a fun? Awesome. This is some of the selections they have. All right. How's the boot camp? Boot camp was good. Yeah. I think for the first time that they have they had it, you know. You know, it's got a little bit of hiccups here and there, yeah, but yeah. nothing really nothing really major, you know. A lot of people? Yeah. Friday was busier than Saturday. Okay. So that makes sense. It wasn't bad at all. So I think it's it's only gonna grow, it's only gonna get better. Good. You know, so hopefully they learn, you know, from their first trial yeah, how yeah, well it's always, gonna go. First one's always a rough one, I'm sure. Yeah, if I wasn't by myself, I'd take you down, but I, I can't lock up right now. How long are you down for? We'll leave this afternoon. All right.
Connecticut as well. It's the whole way up. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. I don't have you with it. We're done with the, actually we're not done with the project because there was not really a project to do. I just thought it'd be fun for you guys to see the weekend that I had in um, in New York, in Brooklyn with a boot camp. I had a great time. You know, I met a lot of people that I've done business with but never seen face to face, and it was kind of cool to see uh, you know to put a face behind the voices. So I had a great time. Um, unfortunately, Mario couldn't make it. Um, you know, sometimes the best laid out plans, you know, it, it doesn't happen the way you've planned it. But I'll be sending his boots out uh, tomorrow uh, to Canada so he can enjoy them. Um, I bought myself a pair of uh, boots here from Carmina. These are brown suede Barogue wingtip boots. This is model number, let's see, 80770. So I thought I'd treat myself to a pair of boots. It was nice to meet uh, Ms. Carmina, the granddaughter of the founder of the company. Um, we didn't really do too many uh, Q&A. We just came in kind of um, and uh, looked around the shop and did some shopping. And we had a great time. All right, well, thanks again for joining me. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys again on the next project. Take care.